Upset parents carrying signs this evening heading right into the Nelson County School Board meeting worried that their superintendent was about to lose his job at any moment. It is our top story on the WHS 1119. Hello everybody and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. Instead, West Bradley hangs on for another day after another heated school board meeting in Nelson County. WHS 1119's Alex Dieterer and photojournalist Addie Hill report from Bardstown. Outside in Bardstown, parents lined up, holding signs that said it all, and set the tone for what was coming next. A tense Nelson County School Board meeting. No action was taken by the board in the executive session. This executive session was labeled as, quote, related to the appointment or dismissal of an individual employed by the board. If you look at that agenda, the next discussion is for us to discuss personnel, and we only know the person that we hire and let go is the superintendent. In a social media post last week, District 3 member Tracy Bowling said the board is considering the dismissal of Nelson County School Superintendent. Wes Bradley in the job since 2018. I also was not naive to believe that with this kind of crowd here that some people would let that decision just happen in this moment when there are so many supporters here. A move that some educators like Trista Wheatley don't support. Every single day, the six hours that we have them, we're making sure things happen. It's the outside, it's this kind of meeting we have tonight, the things that are happening and the politics around us that then can get things cloudy. Teachers, parents, and students. As we're going right now, I'm really scared about what it's going to look like next year. The tension has been high for two and a half years, as the school board has been considering the merger of two high schools, a controversial move that the superintendent doesn't support. But for now, he keeps his job. And despite all of the noise in Nelson County, community members, including board member Tracy Bowling, just want to get back to the one thing that matters most to them, the education of the students. We're supposed to sort of be hidden and letting the, the real people shine. And I, I, I hope we get there. Bowling also stated on social media that any attempt to remove Bradley would, quote, silence those who are advocating for students in Nelson County. These people aren't here because they're being listened to. They're not here because they feel like their voices are being heard. They're here because we have ignored them. All other board members declined our multiple requests for comment. In Nelson County, Alex Dieterer, WHAS 1119, on your side.